Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Bullock here, and this is uh, Algebra 1 slash Algebra 2 uh, lesson, Multiplying and Dividing Rational Expressions. I pulled this out of my Algebra 2 book, but it's also a uh, lesson that's, that's uh, explained in Algebra 1. That's a tough lesson, so that's why it's in Algebra 2 also. Okay, so here we go, simplify, uh, and this is all dealing with factoring, so simplify this uh, rational expression. Rational just means a fraction. So factors of negative 15 that add to negative 2, and then uh, are a negative 5 and a positive 3. And this is a difference of squares. This is um, x plus 3, x minus 3. So let's go ahead and factor that. And then we can cancel out the common factors, and we're left with x minus 5 over x minus 3. Okay, real common Algebra 1 error is kids want to cancel out those x's. You can't because it's x minus 5, and this has x minus 3. You cannot cancel out those x's. Only if it was x times 5 you could, and x times 3, but the minuses won't let you. All right, so uh, factors of 16 that add to negative 8. This is a perfect square trinomial. This is x minus 4, the quantity squared. And then uh, factors of negative 24 are positive 6 times a negative 4. And those are the ones that add up to that plus 2 right there. Okay, so here we go. Uh, factors to that. And then one of these x minus 4 is going to take one of those away. There's two of them right there. So there's one left. So uh, x minus 4 over x plus 6. Again, you cannot cancel out these x's. You can't divide these guys by 2 because the whole number is x minus 4. All right. If they were times, if that was a multiplier right there, then I could cancel the x's out. If that was a multiply and that was a multiply. And I could, if it was a multiply, divide these guys by 2. But I can't if there's a plus or a minus. It's just, that's your answer right there. All right. Okay, this one. All right. So I'm going to GCF out a 20 on top and GCF out a 10 on the bottom right there. And I get... Um, uh, tw and then if you just think about it, just imagine if I did uh, distributed this 20 back through. 20 times 2x gets me 40x, and then 20 times 1 gets me 2. And similarly, 10 times that, 10 times that gets me back there. All right, now we GCF the top and the bottom. Now I can see now there's a multiply right there. There's a multiply right there and right there. So now I can cancel that 10 and that 20 and make it a 1 and a 2. All right, so I'm left with uh, 2 quantity. 2x plus 1 over x minus or x plus 3. And leave it factored, you guys. A lot of kids want to redistribute that back through. That's fine, you guys. But later when you guys get into pre-calculus and calculus, it's better to leave it in factored form because you, you do things with those factors. Okay? So, but either way, you can go ahead and distribute the 2 back through on top if you want. But that, that answer is terrific right there. All right. Uh, what do I have? Okay. Uh, number uh, 4. Okay, so uh, let's see, I can pull a 2 and an x out of both of these guys. And this one, factors of 3 are uh, uh, 3 and 1, so this is going to be 3x and x. And then factors of 5 are 1 and 5, so I just got to mix up that 1 and 5 so it'll match up with that 16 right there. Uh, so there's a guessing and checking right there. So it comes out to be 3x plus 1, x plus 5 on the bottom. And typically, you guys, one of these factors is going to be one of the ones from on top. So if you just think of, okay, I pull a 2x out and I'm left with x plus 5, almost every chance that the one of the factors is going to be, um, if that's the only factor on top, then this is going to be the other one that's going to match up with that. So anyways, those are going to cancel right there, and you're left with uh, 2x over 3x plus 1. All right. Okay, this one here, um, you can cross cancel. So check this out. I canceled out the 2 times 4 right here. 2 and 4 gives me 8, and it canceled out that 8 on top. And then I can cancel out um, the x, canceled out one of these 3, so there's 2 left. And then here's 2 y's. Here's one more y, making 3 y's. It's going to take out those 3 y's right there. Okay, and then I'm left with uh, 7x to the 6th and then, and then that leftover y right there. Okay, and x to the 6th because there's 4 there, there's 2 there, and I add the exponents right there. Nothing left on the bottom. Okay, uh, how about this one? Okay, remember when you're dividing fractions, you got to flip the second guy and multiply. So you, you flip it and change it to a multiplication. Now this looks just like number 5. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out the 6 and the 8, or in the 48 I mean. And then it uh, looks like four of the y's are going to take away uh, this one and these three right here. And then what else cancels? Um, uh, three x's take away three of the five on top, so there's two left. And so that's all I can cancel, you guys. So this is what I'm left with. Uh, eight x to the fourth, because there's two x's left over here and two here. So four of them over that y squared right there. All right, let's try some of these with factoring. Okay, I'm going to 
pull out a 3x on top here. Factors of, of negative 5 are positive 5 times a negative 1, and those are the ones that add to 4. Factors of negative 20 are positive 5 times a negative 4, and those are the ones that add to that. So here it is all factored right there. And then there they are, all the colored factors that I can cancel. Notice these x minus 1s are going to cancel. This x plus 5 and this x plus 5 are going to cancel. And these 3x's are going to cancel. And I'm just left with x minus 4. Okay, uh, number 8. All right, so this is like over 1, you guys, over 1. Okay, now this is a sum of cubes, okay? And the sum of cubes are kind of hard to remember. So I set up a little thing right here. Here's the sum of 2 cubes. See, this is x cubed plus 2 cubed. You have to recognize that 8 is is a cube, 27 is 3 cubed, 64 is 4 cubed, so if you see those numbers, 125 is 5 cubed, so if you see numbers like that, they're the sum of cubes or difference of cubes, and what, how these go is they always factor to a binomial times a trinomial, okay, notice this is a binomial times a trinomial, and then I always think this, bi times tri, and then soap it, and the soap part is the signs, it goes same sign, opposite sign, this one's always positive. So this sign is the same sign as this one right here. So down here, this sign is the same sign over here. Opposite sign, so this is going to be a plus. This one's always positive. And then the by is just uh, the things that are being cubed. That's what goes in the by right here. And then on the try, you guys, this guy is this one squared. This end piece is this one squared. And this middle piece is the product of those two guys. So by times try, soap it, same sign, opposite sign, always positive, and then this is the first one squared, this is the last one squared, and this is the product of them over here. Okay, so this think of this as x cubed plus 2 cubed. By times try, soap it. Okay, so here's my by times the try, so the x is being cubed and the 2 is being cubed. Square the x, square the 2, and then multiply 2 times x. And then what a coincidence, you guys. That's this trinomial right here. And this is over 1, so those are going to cancel. Nice coincidence. It always is a nice coincidence, or almost always. Anyways, there's the answer. Okay, here's number 9. Okay, I'm going to flip them and factor them at the same time. Factors of negative 21 are negative 7 times 3. I'm going to pull a 5 out of these guys. I'm going to flip these guys and factor it. Factors of negative 70 are positive 10 times a negative 7. That's what adds to plus 3. Difference of squares right here. x plus 10, x minus 10. Flip and factor. Boom. Okay, there's all the common ones that are going to cancel each other out. And I'm left with uh, x minus 10 over 5. Again, can't cancel that 5 into that 10 because of the minus sign. If it was a times, I could, but I can't. That's the answer. Don't do that algebra 1 error. Okay, one more, you guys. Okay, now, just remember that this guy's like over 1 right here. There's nothing underneath it. Now I'm going to flip it and factor it. Okay, so it gets flipped and changed to a multiply. And then um, I pulled uh, an x out of those two guys. And then check it out, you guys. 3x minus 2. Chances are this, uh, this I know this is going to be 3x in one and x in the other. So the 3x in one is going to probably be the same as that one. So, so figure out... Uh, um, uh, this is going to have to be either 2 times 5 or 1 times 10. Well, if this is the 2, this one's going to be the plus 5 right there. All right, and then you can see what's going to cancel right there, and then there you go.